Hello Scorpio and Happy New Year to you. Welcome to your daily tarot advice and weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of December 31st through January 6th. Um, I'm going to start by pulling a card day by day, doing it a little bit differently, and then I'm going to clarify each card that I pull. So Scorpio, let's see how your week is unfolding. So, Monday, New Year's Eve, the 31st. Ooh, Divine Feminine. Libra also received this card for Monday. So, Scorpio, listen. Um, Monday is a, a very flowy day for you, energy-wise, where you're just kind of in the vibes, you're in your element, you're doing okay, there's peace and serenity inside of you. Um, the energy that's emanating from you is very... Uh, inviting, soothing, and comforting to those around you. Now, um, this could also be where somebody's projecting this energy towards you, somebody you're interacting with. Um, you know, if you're going through something and you're talking about it, whoever you're talking to, they're offering you a lot of healing energy. Also with this, Scorpio, if people around you are kind of in choppy waters on Monday, it hold your space in this energy. And they'll be more inclined to jump on your beautiful vibe of energy opposed to um, wanting to stay in their choppy waters, okay? On Tuesday, look at that. Vibrations. Um, pretty much a reiteration of Monday. So here's uh, New Year's Day, January 1st. You are in the vibe, Scorpio. Your energy is on point. <laughs> Just for Wednesday for you to kind of feel a little bit stuck, like, uh, what do I want? What am I going to do? I was feeling really good Monday and Tuesday, but I think here we are back to work, back to normal life, back to the grind of things, and we're like, uh, I don't want this anymore. I want a beautiful change in my life, I think. Um, so you might be feeling a bit sluggish on um, Thursday. Now, I'm sorry, on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, look at this. We have healing. So, um, Scorpio, you may have a conversation. Something may be said to you. Something may be given to you. Um, something you watch or you read or you hear or you're exposed to. There is some sort of healing energy that's coming your way, which is also very in alignment with Monday and Tuesday. So if anything, Wednesday, I'm just feeling like it's a crashing year high from the holidays and having time off from work and all those, you know, fun things. You're just like, ah, oh, it's back to real life. The next uh, holiday isn't until when, right? But Thursday, um, there's healing energy coming to you on Friday. We're feeling a little nervous. We're feeling anxious. We're worried about something on Friday, Scorpio. But Saturday, look at this. We're awakening. This is more of this energy, the divine feminine, the vibrations. We're awakening to truth, which is I don't need to worry. I don't need to have anxiety. I don't need to rehash. You know, doing these things isn't going to prevent um, anything from happening. It's just going to make me absolutely miserable to sit here and um, worry about these things. And so Saturday is a big day of epiphany, uh, deeper insights, everything kind of connecting together for you. And look at this. On Sunday, you're ready to, to surrender to the v divine, to the vibes all around you. Um, Scorpio, this is honestly a really awesome week. I just noticed like um, Wednesday and Friday are the two kind of energies, but they're not even like heavy. It's just, oh, I don't want to deal with this today. And oh, I'm a bit worried about this on this day. But every other day, it's like you're vibing high, you're healing, your consciousness is expanding, you're starting to trust the universe more. You're just surrendering to your path, to all that it is. 
and you're okay with that. You're happy with that. It's just a contentment that it's almost impossible to articulate, Scorpio. Not only are you feeling this, but you are projecting this energy. It emanates from you, which is helping other people heal and um, find their inner balance once more. So um, you're kind of the leader of the pack this week, Scorpio. You have a very nice vibration going on so let's clarify this even further with some tarot yeah look at that we have the empress okay the empress is the divine feminine card uh scorpio so again somebody in your life is this energy and giving you this or this is you and you're emanating this and it's healing and helping others and those people who are just in a really bad foul mood on Monday, being in your energy and your presence really calms them, really uplifts them, okay? On Tuesday, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. This, if there's another, if there's a queen that's similar to the Empress, it would be this queen of coins right here. She is wise. Um, she is very strong, stable, grounded. Um, she is counted on. People can come to her for pretty much anything and everything, and she's going to have it, and she's willing to give it, or she's going to know who can help you or where you need to go if she cannot. Those are your vibrations. Or, Scorpio, again, this is that really strong feminine energy that is in your realm somehow, some way, that's um, very healing to you. All right? It could go either way. Stuck. Ah, ha, 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 look at that. Three of Pentacles. Many of you, this is about work. I don't want to be here today. Others of you, this might have something to do with some finances. And you might just... Uh, be realizing that between now and I would say March, your finances might be a little bit tight just from different spending or if you have any car issues, you know, something like that. But for the most of you, I feel like it's, oh, I don't want to be at work. <laughs> and then look at this healing, what's being healed. Um, people and relationships and situations that were fake, were phony, were flaky, let you down, hurt your heart, left you high and dry. Healing is coming to that energy, Scorpio. And look at the fear. What are we afraid of? We're afraid that um, we may be alone. We could be afraid that there's nothing that's ever going to change in our life. It's always going to be mundane and predictable and boring or it's just I'll never get out of this rut. So there's some anxiety here about, I feel, letting the past go and not having much faith that the future holds better than where you've been. But by Saturday, look at that, we have the magician with the awakening. By Saturday, that energy dissipates. You're realizing your power. But more than that, Scorpio, this is where... You're doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of consciousness expanding, and you're not talking about it to anybody. You're kind of keeping it on the low low on Saturday and just being very introspective and making plans for your life, okay? Because you see the tree of life on the back of this magician's robe. So you're really contemplating your personal power and what you want out of life and where you want to go and what you want to make manifest for yourself. And look at this. The surrender card comes out with the three of cups. So it's like you find your ultimate happiness and just look what would be next, the Four of Wands, another positive card. It's like you find your ultimate happiness. Um, you know, where here is we're not having a whole lot of faith in the universe and um, the way things are going to unfold and divine timing and all of those uh, wonderful things. By a Saturday, Sunday, it's a whole different world. Our faith is restored. Um, we are believing that everything's going to work out. And also, with the Magician and Three of Cups, um, you might be spending some time with a very wise person or somebody that you feel is very magical. And just because of their energy and who they are, they awaken different parts of you and trigger different parts of you over the weekend. Um, you know, you could be hanging out with uh, several friends and it's like a party. Um, but it's not like let's get turned up and 
faded. It's, um, let's talk, let's connect. It's more of an intimate type of setting, which allows you to surrender. I don't know, Scorpio, you have a lot of div divine feminine energy in your reading this week, which is about healing, nurturing, um, conception, creativity, passion, abundance. And uh, so, Scorpio, I feel those female Scorpios out there, um, that have been going through a struggle. It's almost like um, your sisterhood souls are starting to show up or they're a very strong presence in your life this week. There's a lot of strong women, a lot of um, feminine support being offered towards Scorpio. And same if you're even a male. I just feel there's this uh, divine feminine energy, very strong around you. Uh, uh, just like a multitude of people. I mean, you have one, two females here, okay, plus divine feminine, so three. And then you have the three here, one, two, three. Uh, so, and even here, you know, she's nude. Um, there's a lot of divine feminine energy in your reading, Scorpio. And uh, that's a healing for you. That's a new start. You're on the right path. And this weekend, um, you might have just an amazing, stimulating conversation with a very wise, wise individual that just opens your mind in ways that you never thought possible. Or, you know, this is general, Scorpio, you could be really opening somebody's mind on Saturday and they find you to be quite magical. So let's um, pull a couple more cards to wrap this beautiful reading of yours up. Probably the most healing of all readings for the week. Look at that. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Yeah, Scorpio. As long as... Uh, you remain in this vibe. It's a win, 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 win for you. And as you're winning, other people win because you're inspiring them. They're seeing, you know, well, maybe Scorpio knows what they're talking about. Maybe I should follow in Scorpio's footsteps because look at what's happening for Scorpio. So there's victory here for you this week. And over here, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Um, this over here could be where you know the energies are a little bit more intense because we have the fear but Scorpio it's like because that's a full moon it's the completion of that the manifestation and you know we have awakening and surrender right there so the really heavy intense energy I feel is starting to break up and your consciousness is expanding and the universe is projecting a lot of healing energy your way and there's um, female energies in your life that are going to be very helpful and supportive and uplifting to you this week. So Scorpio, those are your messages for this week. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.